Good morning. Good morning. Can you tell them what we're up to today? I'm getting a load of gluten at the moment. Corn gluten. So we're getting a load in of corn gluten. What's the difference between corn gluten and say EDG like butt cake? This is gonna be more cooked. It's gonna be like more like a flaky type material. Like mash. But it's yeah, it's like mash, but it's like wet cake I can refer to like is it's like a really wet powder. It just kind of sticks together like. What's the protein content difference? The wet cake's 28% and this will be 20%. And why are we going with the gluten versus wet cake? Just it's cheaper. So we are um, waiting for this. Well, it's coming. It's right behind us. We're going to unload it and then go back and then we'll get the mixer and we have to uh, feed calves at home which we feed them a little bit different ration mix and we are feeding like our mamas who we're just keeping the body condition on. So I'm going to talk about a little bit more about the performance beef app, how we use it, how we utilize it, and what data is showing us. mentioning we have partnered up with performance beef analytics they have a really awesome feed app and uh, different parts of that program on the app I'll just pull mine up it's really handy because I can input it on my phone if I forget the iPad um, if I'm not feeding and like Keaton is feeding then he can pull it up on his phone and he can go into the app and be like okay hey I'm helping dad today um, he put in how many pounds and how many cows we fed and then once he hits enter I can pull it up say like if I'm you know out of town or if I'm traveling or whatever I've been doing lately I can go in there and be like okay yep seen that they fed so make sure everybody's doing okay um, we are gonna come back and I'm gonna kind of walk you through how we do ours it's a little bit different um, some of my other like Natalie and Luke Corveac use it quite often and I'm gonna show their video wherever it's at. Um, they feed lot just differently than we do. We don't have a feed lot. We have those wean calves at home. So we do mix two rations. Whereas the ration here for the cow calf pairs and the calving cows, their ration is made up mostly of silage, a little bit of the corn gluten, but mostly hay. So we take some crappy hay or some older hay that we couldn't sell. And that's a little bit less in nutrition. Our main goal isn't to fatten our cows, but to keep that good body condition as they go through winter calving um, before this grass gets going um, in the spring because we are rotational grazing. So our cows are not fed, um, quote unquote, like a haylage or a byproduct during the summer. They will get some treats, protein cubes by Purina, um, like beef treats. But that's it. Ready to go home and have some lunch? And they'll come and feed? back to work and then back to work So 
This pen is kind of across the board, but it's not necessarily for them to be fed on, but just keep their condition until we hit grass. Which makes us a little bit more unique than others. We're not feeding um, the TMR mix every day, all year long. It's only used as an extra support and supplement during the coldest months of the year when there's no grass. So for this TMR mix, it's definitely more haylage, a little bit of corn gluten and corn silage. And whereas the mix that goes home for those wean calves, it's vice versa. Um, there's a little bit of haylage because they have open access to hay, um, full feed hay in the, in the arena. And most of their TMR mix is the silage, the corn gluten, the Purina um, balancer steak maker, and mineral. So two feed rations, two batches, um, 500 or 5,000 pounds go here to the cow calves and that feeds about a hundred and some head. And then we have about 25 head plus the show calves in another pen and they get about 1,500 unless it's really, really cold and the weather is kind of cruddy. Then we will bump that up to about 2,000 pounds that we mix to bring home. So now he's putting in the corn silage. I wish you guys could smell this because even even in like the cab itself, it smells so good. Like you can smell the corn always helping him feed so like when I'm gone Keaton has this on his phone and he can actually input this data in himself and pull it up and know exactly how much he's feeding to hit the calves back at home versus the ones that are here at the, the arena or from the arena to the creek farm they're always up here waiting always I mean, they're not gonna get they're not gonna get all hundred pounds because you got some going on the ground. Right. But I mean, I bet they're getting forty pounds a day. At least. And then you're talking about like the carbon back into the ground. So even though like you're feeding on the ground and not in a bunk line, right. how it puts it back into yeah. what we're doing. For our cows, it kind of keeps them out of the mud where you don't have to worry about foot rot and everything else. But they're spreading the manure out. It's helping the ground. Yeah, we have a little bit of waste, but. Not a ton of waste. I mean, they clean it up pretty good. You figure all your effort to get in and get all that manure. Because we have to, because we really don't have anywhere to put them. Plus, 
calves ain't gonna eat near as much as cows. So calves just do better in a few lot. For us, we found that what we do is better in the feedlot. They just grow better. Or weaned calves, that is. And, we, I mean, we do have somewhere to go with them, but we don't want to ride up all of our pastures. So, that's, they just go back. Well, and this, if we keep our weaned calves at home, this allows us to rotational graze the cow calves a lot better and a lot more manageable minded over here. Here's this little baby. We had to pull. What? What? Did you lose your mama? Sweet pea. As you guys can see, uh, we don't have a true feedlot. This is actually my horse arena, um, but it serves the purpose. Uh, we just have bunks along, along this fence. Um, Jason uses a skid loader and we dump the Pinta, use the Pinta up there to dump it out into the skid loader and then we bucket it over. Um, when it's dry enough and then the ground was frozen, we were actually taking the mixer out and dumping it outside, but we can't do that when it's not, um, when it's really muddy. As you guys can see, they're cleaning up quite nicely. A lot of what's left over is like, that's a piece of mud, they're not going to eat that. Um, extra hay because they actually have hay in their um, feeder over there so they're there they have access to dry hay along with the um, hay that we're putting into the feed ration which actually isn't a whole lot um, their feed ration is mostly made up of that corn gluten and corn silage because it's about putting weight on these guys ain't that right Ain't that right, buddy? Yes. Make sure if you guys like today's video, hanging out with Performance Beef, learning more, leave us a thumbs up. Comment below if you have questions about our feed ration, the type of feed we're feeding, the haylage, and all Performance Beef. Greatly um, appreciate all you guys do for us, sticking around. Oh my goodness, look. Don't look at my trash. There's an egg. There's an egg on my tractor. The joys of farm life. Okay. 
Until next time, God bless, stay safe, and we'll see you around. <laughs>